Hello everyone and welcome back to part two of we're going to make our own medicine. All right, as you can see, we have already got our coconut oil and hemp infusion in the bowl and it's cooling. You can see how it's starting to solidify up top. This is just sitting out at room temperature. The bowl is cooling off as well. Now, as I said, let's just say for intentions purposes, we've run this three times or it's been in your crock pot. It's nice and green. You're going to pop this in the refrigerator and it's going to solidify. After it solidifies, it's going to be hard. You're going to take this out. And like a, after you take this out, you're going to put it in another ceramic bowl or just drain the water off. You can just drain the water off depending on what you have it in. More often than not, you can just drain the water off. And then you're going to take that into your laundry room or wherever your dryer is. Because you need a very low temperature. And you're going to put this on top of your dryer, cut your dryer on. Usually it'll get about 70 degrees, 75 degrees. And it will melt that coconut oil again at a very low temperature. And that's what you have to have to add your other ingredients. So if you're going to add any ingredients such as lavender, then you're going to want to uh, soften up that coconut oil again, but not in the microwave. You don't want to lose any of its properties. You want to do it very slowly, very low heat, and the best way to do it in your house, you know, <clears throat> is in your laundry room. So if you're adding lavender to that, you're going to add a couple of drops of lavender to a container of about this size. This is about 4 ounces. So for about 4 ounces of melted oil, you're going to add 2 drops of lavender. Now, if you are making uh, arthritis medicine, now the two drops of lavender and the coconut oil, basic pain reliever, anti-inflammatory rub. You give yourself massages with it, put it on your joints, put it on your hands every single day. But uh, that's just your basic. You want to bump it up a notch. Little warming effect. Well, then you want to add a couple of drops of peppermint oil. And that's going to add a little bit of warmth to that. Now, if you've got really bad arthritis, then you want to add some cayenne pepper. So, let's say you've got bad arthritis. You're going to take your four ounces and you're going to add two drops of peppermint oil. And you're going to add a half of a fourth of a teaspoon. I don't know what you would call that. <laughs> But a half of a fourth of a teaspoon. I'd call it a pinch, okay? Just a pinch. <laughs> a pinch of cayenne pepper. Now, if you're doing this, remember, you're going to apply this with gloves. Because you don't want to be rubbing your eyes after you put this on. And you don't want to put it on anywhere near no eyes, okay? But you're going to put your peppermint... Two drops, a half of a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper, or just a pinch. <laughs> and then, if you want to go the extra notch, you can add a drop of lavender, or two drops of lavender. And you're going to mix that with a whisk very well. 
and then you're going to put it back in to your dryer room or wherever your laundry room or wherever your dryer's at and cut it back on again and let it go for like 15 minutes at 70 degrees and whisk it again make sure it's really good and mixed and you want to hand whisk because if you try to uh, use it in a blender or use it with a mixer you're going to create air in it and you don't want that you just want to hand whisk it to make sure and you don't want to whisk it briskly either you just want to whisk it to make sure it mixes well okay so once you have all that mixed then you're going to take your jar or container or whatever you're going to keep it in and i suggest a jar and the reason why i've tried different types of containers in its oil form yeah it will come right out little sanitizer uh container real good but when it solidifies like if you got it in a place where it's air conditioned or anywhere above or excuse me below 70 degrees it's going to start solidifying and you're not going to be able to get it out good so i like wide mouth jars this one has a stopper on it and it's decorative so you're going to pour your mixture in your wide mouth jar and you can store it in your refrigerator if you'd like now there's a couple of ways that i if I'm using the cayenne pepper, I do not store the, that in my refrigerator. If I have the mixture for just muscle rub, which is basically your lavender and your coconut oil is basically a muscle rub. I will put this in the refrigerator. I'll pour a little bit in a saucer or a bottom of a bowl. So it makes like a saucer shape. So when it solidifies, it's like a large coin. About this thick. And what I do when my neck aches. Or my knees hurt. I go to the refrigerator, grab that cold chunk. And I use it like a rub on. I just roll, you know, rub it on wherever it hurts. And as soon as it hits the skin, it begins to melt, and the coldness feels great. And within a matter of minutes, well, you feel some relief. Try it, and you'll see. All right. Now, I know this videos have run extremely late, long, but we're making medicine, guys, and that's you know, it ain't an overnight. Well, it is an overnight deal, but you know, it's not just doing a coupon video. So, like I said, you have different versions of this that you're going to make with your base. And that's why you have all the different types of jars. So, you can either label them or just know that you have different things in different types of jars. Let's just say you have teeth problems. Yeah, just chronic teeth problems. Bad teeth. Um, in general, gingivitis. Then you're going to have the coconut oil. And you're going to have a little bit of basil oil. And a little bit of mint oil. Or if you want, you can just take some mint leaves and put it in your oil. In your jar. And then you're going to rub that on your gums. Every night. And you'll see the difference. Uh, another thing. I used to be really into cosmetics which i still like my makeup not as much as i used to because you know the price of it just shot up there really good but i do still like my makeup somewhat but i used to buy all kinds of lotions and stuff to put on my face until i discovered coconut oil i only i don't use primers per se if i'm going to be a full face makeup yes i'll use a primer but i use my coconut oil on my face first my coconut oil is my moisturizer. I buy no other moisturizer. Or should I say, I don't use any other moisturizer. Because you know we buy it. But I don't use it. This is what I use. And as a couponer, I get the opportunity to try all kinds of moisturizers. And I've found, well, this covers all my needs. 
my hair whatever's left on my hands I just run my hands through my hair and it softens my hair gives it a nice shine I mean it's wonderful and for your lips you don't need anything else for your lips you just put this on your lips when you're doing your face you put this on your neck <laughs> you rub it on your arms I mean you can use it like I said on anything and everything and like I said if you doubt what I say simply google it and you'll see so like I said this is the basis for all of our medicine or my medicine that I happen to make so there you have it I've given you my arthritis medicine <coughs> recipes for severe and just chronic arthritis I've given you the consumable version of it uh, which like I said <coughs> you take like pills and uh, I don't chew it I don't eat it you know, I just take it like a pill swallow it with something and it goes straight on down and it's wonderful for your digestion and like I said great for all kinds of stuff you'll definitely see the difference guys guarantee it all you gotta do is try it for a week <coughs> now if you like this kind of home grown municipal knowledge wow that's a lot mouthful <clears throat> well let me know because I've got lots of these recipes and uh, in a situation this information could be comforting I won't say it a state of a life but let me tell you it sure help you feel better all right please give videos a thumbs up if you haven't already make sure you share both videos I'm sorry it had to be in two parts I was trying a new app that didn't work out so well so I don't know if we'll use it again next time <clears throat> so guys y'all be safe make sure you gear up um, I'm thinking about each and every one of you you'll be in my affirmations and we all need to be making affirmations and prayers because to get through this, like I said, we got to convince some other people that life ain't so bad. Okay? We got to convince other people to be happy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a tough job. So. Alrighty, guys. Y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day tomorrow and the rest of the week. Be safe. And see you next time. Y'all come back now here.